It's hard for people to break momentum too. The momentum that's good momentum or momentum that's bad momentum. When I get uh, like when I get on a good groove or working out all the time, I feel it. Like after I'm done working out, I'm like, yeah, I can't wait to get in there again. I can't wait to work out again. That's the good momentum. But then there's that bad momentum, like you get injured or something like that, and you can't do anything for a couple of weeks, and then to, to try to get that kickstart that motor up again, yeah. it's the it's hard to get momentum. There's a lot of people that are eating shit food, and then by the end of the day, your body's in a crisis. Yep, yep. Your body's just processing all this bullshit. And if you're eating a big, like, bullshit lunch filled with nonsense, like, your body's got to process all that stuff. And so at the end of the day, yeah, you're going to lose your willpower. So, like, when 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock rolls around, you're going to be tired. But if you have a healthy lunch and, you know, you're, you're properly fueled, and then you also have positive people in your life, everyone's motivated, by the end of the day, you're going to feel good. Whatever the fuck your thing is, just go and do it. Just force yourself to do it. And if you feel like shit because you ate lunch, then your lunch was, you know, filled with bullshit, well then, hey dummy, don't eat shitty lunch tomorrow. Tomorrow try a nice salad. Yeah. You know, try a salad with some salmon and see how you feel then. You're like, hey, I feel way better today at 6 o'clock. Duh! Yeah. yeah. Now yeah. your decision making will be better. Like, that people don't understand how significant it is. Like, all these little decisions, they, those are like, the, that's the path for the rest of your existence on Earth. And if you decide to go to fucking Cheetos chocolate chip cookie route, you're, you're, you're just making a shit path. You're carving your fucking path through broken rocks and glass and it's not the way to go. You know what else doesn't exist in a day-to-day -day life? What, a place where it's okay to be a man. <laughs> it's actually okay to yeah, be a yeah. man. It's okay to have man thoughts. Like yeah. everybody's so so toned down and neutered. It's like human resources and, and corporate life has watered down people's natural behavior to the point where people are just dying on the inside. Sitting in these fucking cubicles, rotting, yeah. just freaking the fuck out, having all these thoughts they can't entertain, having to pretend to be someone they're, they're not all day long, putting on this bullshit way of talking, this fake way of thinking. Everybody's got to subscribe to whatever fucking ridiculous policies their company wants to enforce. And you're just a robot. And you get out of there and you just want to scream. It's this fear of discomfort. People have this extreme feeling in their mind uh, when it comes to their associations with exercise. They want to avoid discomfort. They feel like any type of exercise is just like something to be avoided. That's not for me. Fuck that. I don't want to sweat. I don't want to strain. And a lot of times this association that they have is about the beginnings of getting in shape. It's not about once you're actually fit. Because once you're actually fit, exercise is something you look forward to. It's an alleviation of stress. It's it feels great. Like, if I can't get a workout in, I'll, I look at my schedule and go, oh, shit, I don't have any time for a workout, which means I'm not going to get that good feeling. And so instead of looking at it like, oh, I've got to go grunt and sweat, I'm thinking I'm not going to feel good. I'm not going to feel relaxed. I'm not going to feel carefree. And I'm not going to feel even appreciative. Like, my appreciation of things, and it gets enhanced greatly after exercise. I just feel better. I feel like I can take things in for what they are rather than you know, whatever the, whatever sensory data that I'm getting from any event is just uh, one more distraction that gets in my way. And, and you know, that, that's a lot of times how I look at things if I'm overstressed or if I'm working too much. Like, our bodies, for whatever reason, uh, most people, their associations are to avoid anything that's uncomfortable. But it's so illogical because when you look at comfort and you look at success and progress and the eventual, the feelings of accomplishment and of getting past certain hurdles and in, in terms of like how you feel about life a lot of those are connected to discomfort like discomfort is your friend it really is like discomfort and uh, and not being happy and content with certain situations in life or certain feelings in life they're massive massive motivators and they're they're amazing at at facilitating change and yet our instinct is to avoid those and just sit on the couch and watch some fucking reality show about dudes who make moonshine with our jaw open like it's with bizarre and for me at least when i get when i get like really disciplined and really um i get really consistent with my workouts 
one of the things that I feel, I almost feel momentum. I feel like there's like a push behind me, like, all right, we're, you know, like after I get out of the gym, I have a really good workout. I'm like, yeah, now I'm doing it. I'm doing it all the time now. And I'm looking forward to the next time. And it makes that resistance much weaker. And it makes my motivation and my discipline much stronger.